a massive protest erupted in main urban hub of Garo Hills, Tura, demanding removal of CEM of Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. Members of pressure groups and NGOs like the GSU, FKJGP, AYWO and NESO took to the streets and marched all the way to the GHADC office to demand the ouster of CEM Rakesh A. Sangma. The pressure group members also held a public meeting outside the GHADC office calling for immediate removal of current CEM, accusing him of not following Garo customs. The protesters are accusing CEM Rakesh Sangma of following the patrilineal system since his father was from a Nepali community. The pressure groups feel that having someone who allegedly does not follow the Garo custom at the hem of affairs in the GHADC comes as a threat to the entire Garo community. As the CEM is the custodian of Garo tradition and has the power to appoint nokmas and take decisions for the community, an individual who does not follow the Garo custom should not hold the post, the pressure groups said. To push for the ouster of Rakesh Sangma, the pressure groups have also launched a civil disobedience movement. It may be mentioned here that Rakesh Sangma had taken charge as CEM from Benedict Marak on January 31st. Garo Hills-based NGOs have been protesting against Sangma's appointment as CEM since the past couple of weeks. And their concern is that Sangma's identity as an indigenous Garo is doubtful since his father was a Nepali and he has allegedly not been following Garo customs. Meanwhile, the president of prominent Meghalaya pressure group FKJGP is a Garo Hills unit president, Preetam Areng said, that the protest will continue till the time the CEM is not removed. Actually, we are gathered here to oppose the appointment of Mr. Rakesh Isangma to the post of the CEM of GHDC. And our main objection is because Mr. Rakesh Isangma and his family has never lived the life of a Garo culture. Uh, all his family members, including his mother, they, they live by the culture of the Nepali community and they did not live by the background community of the Garo culture. They live by the forward community of the Nepali community and thus they do not understand the Garo culture or the Garo society. Whereas the CEM of GHDC, he exercises, the chair exercises highest judicial power in all matters related to the Garo society, that is all the civil cases be it about the Akhangs, Akhang means the land owned by the clans or Maharis, uh, be it the appointment of Nokmas, Nokmas being the guardians of the clan and the Akhang. So these are very uh, crucial matters, these are very sensitive issues, which we are really agitated that Mr. Rakesh Sama does, since he does not understand any of the Garu culture, so we are very agitated that he cannot deliver in this regard, uh, in exercising his judicial powers. He might make a lot of mistakes. So that is our main concern and that is why we are opposing him uh, being appointed as the CM of GHDC and we will continue to do so. And since this is our fourth phase, uh, our first phase has been uh, a pendant strike of the district council for three days and the second phase was uh, the call of NCM for two days and the third phase was uh, a four days night road blockade. And since today, we are uh, carrying out our fourth phase of agitation. That is, we will call for a total strike of the district council for this whole week. And if the government and the political dispensation does not listen to us, or does not hear the voice of the Garos, then we will continue our agitations in different phases. Because our uh, civil disobedience movement will continue unless and until Mr. Rakesh Esangma is removed from the post of the CEO of the GHDC. Thank you.